Hey guys, welcome to Enid Gold 007 production. Today I shall be doing a bit different video for you guys. So basically what I have in front of me is a basic spot gun. Now this is a very basic design. Uh, it's uh, meant, uh, it's basically called a pneumatic cannon or an air cannon. Uh, which is the most basic type of a spot gun for beginners basically. Um, now what, how this works, I'll, I'll explain how this works. Firstly, what you need to do is this here is a Schrader valve, the basically a bike valve, um, which is used on your standard bikes, obviously. And this supports pressures to about 140 PSI, although I have tested it to about 200, 200 plus PSI. I wouldn't recommend using it to higher than 200 PSI pressures. Um, so this is the basic valve from which you fill your air into your chamber which is basically the body of the gun um, it's made fully out of galvanized iron which supports pressures to about 2000 pounds per square inch or 2000 psi but i haven't really tested it to that high pressures um, uh, it uses several fittings like here is an end cap which has a drilled hole and uh, here is a uh, one inch nipple and here is a two to one inch reducer here is a two inch nipple uh, here is a two to one inch reducer again a uh, one inch nipple and a one inch ball valve okay so basically the the theory behind the, the working of this spot gun here is uh, the basic theory is that you basically fill in your air from your uh, Schrader valve over there and as you fill in your air, pressure builds up in the chamber there. As the pressure, the basically the second valve or the firing valve, as we call it, should be closed. Uh, and as you compress air in the chamber, pressure builds up. And, and this is the pressure that will be used to fire your projectile when you open the trigger valve there. So basically, what happens when you open your trigger valve is that um, all the pressure here is released, and the only place it can go is come out through the barrel. Um, whatever is in the barrel will be forced out of the barrel at very very high speeds okay now i'll go into bit see safety detail before making one of these uh, weapons um, this is a firearm i would consider it as lethal as a firearm probably uh, if you've seen those airsoft or paint bolts this is not an airsoft or paintball gun this will definitely kill you even though it's an entry level uh, design it will most likely kill you if uh, you do not take care and it's not a toy and you're dealing with high pressure air here so you really need to be careful with that in case of an uh, explosion here you'll probably be uh, in the hospital and uh, this might be illegal uh, in the place where you live so basically check out the rules and regulations about these guns and uh, 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 it differs basically from place to place where I live there has been an incident and I'm, I'm basically banned from using these guns again due to that incident um, in which uh, the one of the neighbors uh, apparently said uh, it would be too dangerous to use in the neighborhood and uh, in my opinion it is dangerous uh, in case uh, of an explosion or mishap it will most likely injure not only you but people around you um, also uh, do not point it at any person in case you fired by mistake I know it will not fire off itself but in case uh, and don't play with it as a toy uh, okay now uh, I've, although I've got the security out of the detail um, uh, this is basically an entry level model as I said before and uh, you can make a uh, higher performance cannons obviously by using different mechanisms of firing different uh, ba barrels different chambers so basically this is a basic design in which the barrel is missing obviously um, but you can uh, attach a barrel of your size and uh, basically you the performance out of this cannon is pretty decent and pretty pretty good for a basic cannon uh, you get uh, a stop uh, basically amazing mu muzzle energies and muzzle velocities ranging from 0 to 500 FPS using several projectiles uh, um, now basically what they use is fire uh, anything that fits in the barrel obviously and a snug filt will obviously increase the performance and a quicker valve what well, valve I have here is basically a one inch ball valve which is not the best uh, because the opening time is basically the slow on these uh, cannons but as for a beginner this is the best valve to use um, you can obviously lubricate it and uh, make it better for opening and pull the trigger faster obviously uh, 
uh, to make uh, it open faster but obviously the valve such as sprinkler valve or quick exhaust valve are better for such uh, higher performances um, uh, filling methods also vary in which you can obviously fill through a Schrader valve or a quick connect uh, those are the basic two methods to fill a uh, spot gun or air cannon um, the filling methods range from bike pumps to uh, 12 volt compressors to the heavy duty compressors and also uh, uh, fridge compressors which give you ideal uh, very fast filling and very high pressure filling if you want and they are pretty portable uh, unlike the high end um, industrial compressors now there are several models which you can make obviously this is the inline version in which the barrel it comes in line with uh, chamber but you can make the barrel under the chamber or over the chamber any design you want basically on this uh, basic the theory is the same but the design is basically whatever you want also uh, uh, the performance can be increased to some extent by using high pressures uh, ideal chamber to barrel ratio uh, and uh, the bigger the barrel uh, the surface area of the projectile obviously the bigger the faster and the stronger it will go the muzzle energy will basically increase as the mass of the projectile increases but uh, their velocity will decrease so basically you would want to look for a projectile which has a good uh, muzzle velocity and a muzzle energy uh, which is basically in between the two which uh, you'll probably have fun with I personally find, uh, find firing 4 grams nuts and bolts out of a 1 inch barrel fun they perform, uh, perform pretty idly on this cannon so this is the basics about uh, such cannon. In my next video, I'll, I shall be teaching you how to build a PVC cannon, and probably in, in another video, I shall be choosing to make uh, a galvanized iron cannon. Uh, PVC is most preferably if you're uh, staying above uh, maybe 150 psi, but above that, I wouldn't go uh, using a PVC. Although you can use Schedule 80 or Schedule 120 PVC, but I'll, in my next video, I shall be teaching you how to make one out of a Schedule 40 PVC. So. If you guys like the video please rate comment subscribe and stay tuned because i shall be posting one on how to make uh, a cannon so thanks for watching guys please rate